If you're watching this, you're probably interested in crushing your fitness goals when moving to Saudi Arabia. So you probably watched the videos before in this little three-part series all about the lifestyle and the training. So in this one, what we're gonna talk about is all things nutrition, the fun stuff, right? The easy stuff. And so just as a recap, I'm an online coach here in Saudi Arabia and I really specialize in helping expats make that move across, right? So starting from where they are in their home country, getting them into a good place when it comes to their training, nutrition, lifestyle, helping them through that transitional phase in their fitness journey of moving and settling and setting their life up here in Saudi Arabia to continue progressing forwards towards their fitness goals, whatever that might be, strength, fat loss, muscle gain, whatever. And so having made the move myself and been working with expats over the last, what has it been, five years, I really want you to make the most of this golden opportunity that you have. You get to build this new life free of any distractions you might have had at home and really focus on prioritizing yourself, your health, your fitness for you and your family. So let's do it. Let's get into all things nutrition. You might have heard before the old adage, you can't out-train a bad diet because there's some truth to it. No matter how intense you go in the gym, no matter how hard you push, no matter how many days a week you're in the gym, if your diet or your nutrition is not in check, then you are not gonna see the progress that you want. To start with, I'm gonna run through some common challenges and obstacles people face here. And these things end up affecting consistency and they kill any progress because ultimately the more consistent you are over time, over a long period of time, the more change you're going to see. And if you don't have tactics or strategies to overcome these, then you're always going to fall victim to them. So the big one, stress. Life here, like anywhere else, can be stressful and it can lead to all sorts of coping mechanisms. One of these, obviously, comfort eating, emotional eating. And this combined with the ease of super, super tasty takeaways and the convenience of that, again, just increases your calorie consumption and obviously furthers the weight gain. And it's a cycle that you can easily fall into. You know, you may not have the groceries in, you're working late, you're stressed. It's easy just to order on your phone when you're back from work. And then I know people who've literally lived here for two years and they've never cooked a meal for themselves, ever. And so if you're relying on pizzas, burgers, takeout, whatever that might be, you can only think of what is happening to your body, both inside and outside. One of the other big challenges is social occasions. And this is obviously not a uniquely Saudi issue. And so because there's less things to do here generally, plans always revolve around cafes or restaurants. So breakfast, lunch, dinners, or popping out for a coffee and a whatever pastry cake that might be. And again, it's an easy trap to fall into when you do have a little bit more disposable income. Um, you want to go out, you want to enjoy, and part of that enjoyment is food. It's great because there's plenty of like nice, alluring options in terms of different foods to try. But again, if you don't have a plan, if you don't have a little bit of structure when it comes to your week, then these sorts of things can overtake everything. And then again, if we're talking about consistency being the biggest driver of change, then you are not able to stick to whatever plan you're on because you're always derailing yourself with these situations. So it is important to find out how you can manage these tactics and strategies to still enjoy yourself, to still go out, but making things more unplanned, shall we say. And the only upside to this is the temptation of alcohol. So you're not going to be having a bottle of wine with your lunch or a pint after work because it's not here. And so the next big factor is convenience. No matter where you are, there is always gonna be junk food available, always. And it really does take a special kind of person to be able to resist that temptation time and time and time and time again. And that person is someone who has a plan in mind, right? They're following a program, they're following something, they want to achieve something, they have a purpose behind what they're doing. And also it's not rocket science. Temptation is easy to resist when you are already fueled and nourished from the food that you're eating when you're motivated by the progress that you're seeing. And so now I wanna run through some of the different options available here, right? Because it's always important to know what options are available to you. And to be honest, no two clients are the same. So you may try different things. Um, things will work for you, they won't work for someone else. So it's important to obviously trial and error and find what matches your taste, your preference, your lifestyle. And so I'm gonna run through a few options which will help you manage things. First up, probably what you're used to already, right? Grocery shopping, 
and home cooking. And this may be totally normal for you, it's what you may do a couple times a week. And I urge you, when you move here, to continue that really, really good habit. I do have to admit, grocery shopping here is one of my least favorite things, but um, you know, still have to do it, still gets done. And you've got all these great supermarkets like the new Binderwood, Panda, Lulu Hypermarket, all of them. So there are some really good options when it comes to the, the grocery stores. Next up, a really valuable one, which I use, and that is like big food delivery apps. And so sometimes I find the meat, the vegetables, the fruit aren't that great in supermarkets. And so there are companies like AFC, like Shabatli, who offer bespoke meat or just fruit and veg. And so obviously highly specialized, which means their product is really, really good. Also next day delivery. So again, super, super, super convenient. Next up, you've got meal subscriptions, which I absolutely love. I've been on meal subscriptions for what has it been? Nearly two years. And back home in London, they would be a no-go because they would be far too expensive. And these of grocery shopping and home cooking is just something that you, you do. And here, they are much, much more manageable. Um, more sort of cost effective, good value for money, on time, super easy, efficient, convenient. There are many options depending on budget. So again, you know, tiered options there. For example, Calo, Right Bite are some of the popular ones here, but by no means that's it. Essentially, you choose a package, you know, two days a week, six days a week, five days a week, whatever that might be. One meal a day, two meals a day, three meals a day, plus a snack, all of that kind of stuff. So it's super personalized for what you need, high protein, low carb, keto, whatever. And other than being super convenient, it helps you retain your level of control, right? Because you know if you're getting food in, then you know roughly what calories and macros you're getting. So if you need additional, that's easy to do, but you know I'm getting this many calories a day, and then you can plan accordingly from there. And lastly, choosing better, even for takeaways. And as health becomes more on trend here, more healthy stores and healthy um, sort of restaurants are popping up. So it's easier to stick with whatever plan you're following. And this all depends on what is near you, right? Because even when ordering takeaway, you can still order something that aligns to your plan, right? It doesn't have to always be a burger, a pizza. And so using a principled approach of making sure you're selecting something high in protein, a good sort of vegetable content, you know, minimally processed carbohydrate are all things that are gonna help you go from choosing, you know, uh, a, a less optimal option to something that absolutely is in line with your goals. And to give you an idea for me, like what I do, I said I had a meal subscription. So I have that six times a week. I have two meals in that. I make breakfast for myself and I make dinner for myself. So it's a combination of the meal subscription um, using the food delivery app. So you get the bulk of chicken, you know, 30 chicken breasts or whatever it might be. And then I have like my protein and my oats and my fruit for breakfast. So four meals a day kind of split between different things. And I know within those meals, the calories I'm getting in, obviously, you know, that may not be necessary for you, but I can be very controlled and considered with that. So to wrap up, what you may have noticed is, again, convenience can really be a gift and a curse depending on how you use it. You can use it to help maximize your progress, you know, have you focusing on other things, more important things, or you can use it to potentially kill your progress. Hopefully this gives you a bit more of an idea around what is available and how you can start considering how you're gonna manage things and structure things when you're here. And as with most things, when it comes to nutrition, if you fail to prepare or if you fail to have a plan in place, Nine times out of 10, you're gonna fail. And again, if you have any more specific questions to this, if you're keen to reach out, then you can find my uh, Instagram account in the description. You can also find a consultation form if you're keen to start working together ahead of your move. And I very much look forward to hearing from you. If there's anything else you want me to cover in relation to these topics, then please do shout. I'm very excited and passionate about this. Hopefully you can tell. And coming here really is a golden opportunity for you to start this new chapter in your life, in your health and fitness, and really unlock your potential. So, good luck.